Today, I'm in the area of Fort Park because they're building a hyper coaster called Hyperia. And I know I was here just the other week. However, I've seen online that there's been a bit more progress. For example, trim brakes on one of the inversions, I believe. So let's go have a look. <laughs> oh God, that's blown my mind. Obviously the TNT here is from Angry Birds Land, which was the area around Detonator at Fort Park. Of course, now it's being rethemed to be Big Easy Boulevard to tie in the areas around it. Rumber boats as well, we know that would sink. It's still so strange to me that Stealth is no longer going to be the tallest roller coaster on park because before it was like that would dominate the skyline and everything else would be about almost 100 feet shorter than it. So it really stood out. And with height and speed both being the main reasons you go on Stealth, it just is a bit strange to me that now Hyperia is going to be both significantly taller but also slightly faster. I'm not going to beat around the bush, pardon the pun, because we all know that we're not watching this video for updates on things like Angry Birds Land leaving, the Nemesis Inferno not looking like a volcano from the back, all the rumba boats looking that they could sink. No, we are here for Mac Cars. Obviously, we're actually here to see what's going on with Hyperia. So follow me. And whilst you're following me, hit subscribe. There's a look at the maintenance bay. That is probably the least interesting part of Hyperia I could show you, but we'll get that out of the way first. Now that's more like it. Look, we've got the station building, a lot of vertical construction, and some workers on site right now doing work on what looks like the piece of track after the final brake run going into the station. How exciting. I wonder what they're working on. What do you, oh, forget the people working on the construction site. Here, you can see the first element of the ride as you exit the station and you turn and you can see where it's gonna be an outer bank. So that demonstrates how once you leave the station, you immediately get put out onto an outer bank turn. So similar to on RMCs, you'll be slowly crawling but like hanging off to the left, immediately giving you lateral forces straight after leaving the station. Even more progress on these inversions, just towering above the station building. And I believe one of these has trim brakes on it. I'll have to have a proper look. Could it be that one? But look at the size of all these towering elements. I'll find a better view. Better view, yeah, there are trim brakes on I believe that's the entry into the Immelman. Just doesn't make sense though, does it? Yeah, that must be entry into the Immelman because as you can see over there, you've got the big turnaround element. And I believe well, once you come out of that turnaround, you'll be going straight up into the Immelman. And those trim brakes must just be to monitor your speed as you go into that element here. Let me get a different angle, which from this angle, you can see not only is it a good 100 feet tall, but also, it has double spine track there on the back of the track you can see a bit of reinforcement that'll be because the coaster itself will be experiencing a lot of forces on that part of the track obviously still a lot of work to do on the coaster even in terms of the layout you can now really see how the elements are coming along like you can tell that you come out of that big turnaround over there straight up into an Immelman here. Then out of the Immelman, I believe you'll be going into whatever element this is gonna be here before turning back around, going into a slightly smaller inversion. Let me get a better view. Bear with me a second. There you can see the taller Immelman and there is the smaller inversion that will then lead you back around into this twisted airtime hill. Focus doesn't want to focus <laughs> into this twisted airtime hill round here up into the final airtime hill and into the brakes there's a clearer view of the turnaround which I still can't believe you're gonna be facing on the other side of that element an outer bank turn oh, doesn't make sense also from this angle you can see that a lot of the groundwork still needs to be taken care of because there's no paths in place, obviously. It's all been worked just on the structure for the coaster. Nothing for the actual surrounding area yet. It looks pretty tasty. Yeah, as you can see, they're gonna need to put in some water features, I believe for the splashdown. 
and pathways around the area and I believe there's going to be a viewing area around here it's starting to look really good and there the first drop will go up there and then it will shoot you back down into that massive turnaround back up into this huge Immelman into this undiscovered element here whatever that could be then back round into the smaller inversion there's another look at that twisted airtime hill which is the penultimate element on the coaster as it spits you out there turns around into the final airtime hill and into the brakes so despite the fact that the first drop and lift hill hasn't been hasn't even started having work yet you can still get a good idea for the layout of the ride already because a lot of the major elements are already in place and some complete some half complete but it gives you a bit of a flavor as to what the coaster will actually look like and this is the first time where you really get an idea as to how this is going to look on the skyline hold on correction from this angle there is a slight difference to the layout i'll show you see after the first drop that is going to go over there it will shoot you up into this turnaround which is the same as said before but then as you can see when you come out of the turnaround you go up into this element here rather than that Immelman so that will shoot you up into I believe that smaller inversion over there you can just about see it behind the trees and then you'll come back on yourself do that other element that you can see just around there that will turn you around and up into those trim brakes on the last Immelman which is enormous and almost complete itself crucially for the layout of the coaster that means that the trim brakes will be further towards the latter end of the coaster experience so it won't slow you down too much at the start and then obviously after that element you've only got the twisted airtime hill here and then you'll turn back around and into the brakes as aforementioned also i've been calling the smaller inversion an immelman it's actually going to be a dive stall so when you come out of that turnaround focus please so when you come out of that turnaround you're going to be thrown into a dive stall which will give riders a very similar sensation to that of a zero g stall on something like zadra or velocicoaster where you're getting that hang time but then also with it being a dive stall you'll be coming out of it more similar to an Immelman so you'll twist out and then back on yourself that's going to be cool to conclude what I've seen from the layout the trim brakes are right towards the end of the layout as you go up into the final Immelman and then you've only got the twisted airtime hill and then the turnaround into the final airtime hill and brake run so it won't be slowing you down for the full layout probably for about a quarter of the layout right at the end you're doing the main big elements before you even touch those trims and that's even to say how much they slow you down anyway because if sort of rides anything to go from it's basically just an ornament i don't know if you can see from this angle but the workers on site aren't doing any progress on anything too exciting they're just making progress on the station building over there now you can't even see but at some point I'm sure they'll be finishing off this Immelman. This looks like the next thing that they're going to be working on, especially given the placement of that crane there, right underneath it. It's literally just a tree. Would you look at the size of that boy? 185 foot. How what? 185 foot tall. 185 foot tall? Well, you better get your facts right or I'm unsubscribing from a traction source. Oh, I can't remember. I think that's one, I think it's 165. 165. I think so. Well, actually, let me do some maths on this. So, given that the tree line is about 110, I'd say that that's 165. If my maths, wait a minute. So, my finger is about 160. Yeah, so if you can see, it's about five foot taller. Yeah, yeah. Air grill stuff. Go on, Caleb. It's all right for you. You brought your wellies. It is more fun than the I've got. I've just got regular crepes. Careful! That's genuinely treacherous. <laughs> no! My feet! Is <laughs> <laughs> the camera so gay? Okay. Oh, well, that was all for nothing. I can't even swim.
thanks so much for watching like the video if you did enjoy this little adventure ciao <laughs> legends that was good wasn't it please sir can we have some more you don't have to call me sir but here's your link click it sir pun a lot would sound cool though